Hey guys, Rick with Live at the Island, and we're here today on the set in the Island of Mercantile. This is in downtown North Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and I'm here with Addison. Most people know who Addison is. Do your thing, Addison. Let the show begin. All right, thank you, right, Addison. Okay. Oh, right on. All right, so let me tell you who this young lady is. Showbiz, this is, yes, right, that's right, man, we do it right here. That's right. This is Janetta from Janetta's Vendetta. Hey, everybody. Nice and uh, I met her a little while back, and she's extremely talented, and we wanted to have her on the show, and I'm, thank you for coming on our show. Thanks, Rick. It's, a, it's very lovely to be here, and I'm happy to be wearing some of the beautiful merchandise in yeah. the store, which is this beautiful Indian headdress in time for Halloween. That's right. Yeah, two days from now, it's going to be Halloween, Halloween, so we had to do something to bring in the, the, the feel and the mood. That's right. That's right. And who better to evoke Halloween than Mistress of the Dark. Yep. Dressed in all black. That's right. Mysterious. I've been keeping staying away from her because she's been making me nervous. Oh, that's okay. So <sighs> did you want to uh, ask me any questions? Maybe. It's right there. Let's Where take a break real quick let her get some water. Oh, you can put it on the show. Can I slug water on the show? Yep. Thanks, uh, thanks, uh, Danny Michelle. I like that name. Ready? Yeah. All right, Jeanette. I just have a couple of questions. So, um, where do you play around here? For first of all, okay. So Let people I have know, like a, they want to see that's you. a great idea. Okay, so on Wednesday, every other Wednesday, I'm at a place on 30, Northeast 33rd, which is called uh, Twice Removed. Also at the fabulous Blue Jean Blues, which yes. is next door, and which is the host of fabulous uh, musical acts seven days a week. It's run by those two beautiful sisters, and I'm there maybe once or twice a month with a full band, which is really exciting. Yeah. Um, because I'm bringing jazz back to South Florida. I am from New York City originally, Rick, okay. and that is a serious jazz town. Mm -hmm. When I came down here, I found there was, it wasn't quite as, you know, jazz was almost like a four-letter word, a dirty word. You know? yeah, yeah. I right. would have to tell the club owners I play dinner music, brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then get in there and do our thing. And do our thing. Right. Once we're in, they know that we're great. So. Right. But there, people are a little scared of that particular word. So that's my job uh, as a jazz ambassador here in South Florida and also around the world. Yeah, I'm lucky a, enough to travel. That's, that's very cool. Yeah, tell me about some of your travels. Well, we've been... Uh, with the whole band and to various United States embassies. The first and biggest tour was through Russia. We landed in Moscow and played for the fabulous, uh, what was the guy's name? He was the diplomat uh, and it was amazing because we were almost in the Russian White House. It was fabulous. Oh, wow. And Mr. John Huntsman, who was actually a senator uh, in Utah, and he happened to be the U.S. Uh, ambassador to Russia. And it was really thrilling because we traveled all across that beautiful, magnificent country. Nice. And then the next one was to a country called Moldova. Yeah, and so Moldova is in Eastern Europe, which was another successful trip. So, and then I travel around the world with my own band without the United States Embassy uh, and just go all over. I've been to the Middle East, I've been all the way to the Caribbean, Canada, Mexico, and all over the world. So nice, nice. Europe. What are your musical influences? I mean, where did you, where did you get your, because you have a different style. Where did, well, thank you. Yeah. Well, it's funny you say that because as a kid, I listened only to pure jazz, Clifford Brown, and never Miles Davis, only Clifford Brown, Lee Morgan, Dizzy Gillespie. Mm -hmm. Then when I was getting older, I listened to a lot of Latin. There was a great Latin trumpeter. Louis Perico Ortiz, who definitely um, influenced my style. And then when I was a little older, I started listening to Miles. And so a lot of people call me the Pocket Miles because I'm playing a pocket trumpet. And when I play with the mute, it's kind of, you know, sounds a little, I don't know if I'm patting myself on the back, but that's what they say. <laughs> so, so, so you like Miles now then, huh? I love Miles as, uh, and I love his arrangements and the piano player Gillette. We'll have a present for you. Oh. Not right now, but uh, we used to own video stores and DVD stores, and I have, I think, one or at least one or maybe two Miles Davis DVDs. Oh my God, that is I'll right. give it to you. So. I would love to see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because he is a real miserable, and in right. Italian that means a miserable you know, guy who is not <laughs> real nice. I preferred Dizzy Gillespie and all the classic 
men who loved jazz and it was joyful for them. Mm. So I've fired a lot of guys who are not joyful because for me, making music is a joyous celebration. It should be natural. Yeah, yeah, and it's also, we're creating, so you have to have joy. All these really steady guys who are, I call them the jazz Nazis. A lot of guys in New York are like that. But down here, everybody seems real, really cool. I guess it's the weather. People are not miserable and sleet and snow and rain and cabs honking at you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I always say is people, I've said it on this show before, they, they wonder why I want to live in beach communities all the time. People are always in a good mood because like, they're on vacation and stuff. Right. You know? and, and what's and not the love about this? We, we could be right. in Alabama. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, but, no, but my point is... <laughs> I have family sister, in Alabama, the reason I say that. My sister talks about Florida being a transient state. I don't believe that at all. Mm. I prefer to say that Florida is a place where dreams are made and yeah. where memories are made. People's happiest memories are here. So much like I used to do when I live in New York full time, I still go back and forth. People, yeah. I would always see hundreds of tourists and I would encourage, I would be polite, I would encourage them and try to welcome them to our city. And that's mm -hmm. what I try to do here as well. Yeah. Because people are only here for a short time mm -hmm. on vacation. Yeah, but, uh, let them have a good time. Yeah, exactly, and hopefully have positive impressions of this beautiful land. And also, um, I'm an avid environmentalist, and so I'm a very staunch supporter of wetlands and trees and parks. Yeah. Because, I mean, you don't want to mow it all down. They're doing that, unfortunately, up in uh, on the other coast. And yeah. It's just not going to be the same. I don't know if you were familiar if I told you this yet or not, but on the environmental side, I'm one of the co-founders of HelpEndAllLitter.org, which is oh God, the no acronym way. for HEAL. Yeah, oh it's God, me and me, and then she was four, she's a girl that has done. If anyone goes to our site, um, she's done Kids Zone for our, our my company. That's right, I've and, seen that. And uh, but she got inspired to want to do more, and she said she wanted to start her own litter organization, but she couldn't do it alone because she was 14. So I helped her. We got the website built for them and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because. I, as a I child, I've been into the you know saving of the planet. You know, course, absolutely. Me too. When and this I was allows a kid. me to. Yeah. And so I think if we could do some benefits for trees and beautiful, they yeah. just chopped down on A1A a magnificent 50-foot banyan tree. How they could wow. be allowed to do that? Um, I'm trying to institute a law entitled um, Heritage Trees uh, because if it's if it's a circumference of over 20 feet, dude, you just don't have the right to chop right. it down. You need exactly. to talk to the community and everybody else. It's, it's, it's weird, like old buildings, they're, they're uh, like, they got to protect them, but they'll let you cut down any trees. Uh, that really drives me. Don't even get me started. Yeah, here. well, I, just, like, just so you know, the little girl that just did our clap report, yes, she, is a, she is a team leader for Help End Litter. Oh and it's, it's all run by children, so it's all kids that are doing everything. So it's, 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 it's so they got to take back their planet. Right? It is so different from it when is. I was a kid. For me too. Smoking and littering, and I used to say stuff to people, but people were just smoking and drinking and abusing their bodies. The kids now, they're really aware of mm -hmm. stuff, which I find is, is quite helpful. I think they're starting to see that their planet's going to go if they don't. My, I had, my dad was the kind of guy that he, I walked past a piece of paper and he'd stop walking. Yeah, that's he'd say, pop. You didn't see that? That's, what, that's how my pop was. <laughs> you had a good pop. That's yeah, the way it's supposed great. to be. And may, may continue to be still. He's still around. Gotcha. So, Tim. People haven't seen the kind of trumpets and stuff that you have a lot, oh, so tell us about is, that. Okay, well this is a pocket trumpet. Mm -hmm. Now, not many players can play this. There was a great guy, Lester Bowie, and then the fabulous, another one, I can't remember, it'll come to me in, oh, obviously, Donald Byrd, who was the band leader of the Blackbirds, which was one of the swingingest jazz bands. Uh, a pocket trumpet is much like a trumpet with the exact same sound, it's in the same key, but it's got the same amount of tubing, only jammed up a little, so it's harder to play. Oh, really? That makes Resist sense. Yeah, the resistance is... It took me about six months. Wow. You're probably one of the most famous po pocket trumpeters, I would say. Well, I am pretty famous in New York as well, you're yeah. right. So, I, I mean, there's m a, hundreds of killing trumpet players in mm -hmm. New York, but not... Not many on that one. Nope, not on the Do spot. you play any instruments besides that? I just a little piano when I'm composing stuff, Gotcha. But other than that, no. This is really a vicious taskmaster. Gotcha. The trumpet is a real... It's one of the most difficult instruments in the musical family. Gotcha. Is there anything you want to convey to people? Just in general, I haven't asked you that you want to say? Well, I have a big show coming up on November 26th at Las Olas Park. Okay. I'm also at Blue Jean Blues on November 6th uh, with the band. Uh, and also my website. And if you could, can you reach those, Rick, so sure. we can show people? Um, 
that I am a band leader with five CDs to my credit, which is a difficult thing to do if you don't have a record deal. But throughout the years, I've always put my money back into recording the phenomenal musicians from New York City uh, because I feel musical records are a legacy that can never be just like jazz, those old records and those beautiful recordings that we caught all those amazing masters of jazz before they left too soon. Um, so that's what I've done and I'm working on my sixth record which will be really cool. But my point is in order to hear and read about me you'll have to go to the website which is JanettasVendetta.com. Can you do a close-up of that name, Janetta's Vendetta. We'll, we'll actually put a text over on it. So ah, know. beautiful. Yeah. Janetta's Vendetta.com has all my show dates. It's got all kinds of videos. It also has frequently asked questions. And the number one question, my bracelets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no matter where in the world, <laughs> what language, how many do I have, what do I do? And also, people are fascinated by the fact that I use them as... Um, I was percussion. looking for what you were holding in your hand. I didn't realize that was making the noise yeah, at first. Yeah, this is my bracelet. Pretty, pretty unique. Oh, my percussion, yes. How many do you have? Uh, I don't know. Do you push? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. It's very cool. It never occurred to me. Anything else you want to say before we end the interview? Well, I'd like to say that, uh, again, jazz is America's greatest export and our legacy as Americans. And I would like to bring jazz back to the top of the charts as it was in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. In the 60s, jazz was king. Mm -hmm. In 1964, Girl From Ipanema was number one on the pop charts. What? Hello? <laughs> so what is my goal? To bring jazz to the Super Bowl halftime show. Hopefully, Janetta's Vendetta smoking up that stage, baby, with my pocket trumpet. Yep. Anyway, we love you, everybody. We hope that you will spread the word and the gospel of jazz and also be kind to your planet. And thank you, Rick. Absolutely. And the wonderful proprietor of this store, Dana Michelle, thank you for lending me your beautiful headdress. These are all available. Mm -hmm. uh, so come on down to this beautiful mercantile on Northeast 33rd Street. All right. Well, let me ask you a quick question. Will you play some music for us? Yes. All right. Well, we're going to break this for just a moment. And the next thing you're going to see is Janetta doing her thing. Thank you. And so she much. does it the best. We all love right, everybody. Right here Peace on out. Live at the Island, Inside the Island Mercantile, which is a clothing store in North Beach, Fort Lauderdale. And we're all waving the people outside and everything like that. Um, but anyway, um, it's in the North Beach restaurants and shops. Okay. So when you're in the town, come check us out. Yes, and please do. Every, this happens every Friday at 7 p.m. That's right. And Northeast 33rd Street is the swinging strip this filled is the with spot. clubs and music, a lot of musicians, a lot of hanging out. It's a real happening scene, much like Bleecker Street used to be when I was a kid in New York City. Mm -hmm. So it's worth a trip if you're visiting Fort Lauderdale, guys. Right. One minute from the beach. Can't beat that. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to end this part of the show. Stay tuned and watch her on her next doing set. her thing. Yeah, next set. All right, guys, so I'm going to get up turn the camera off. And uh, yeah, I'm the cameraman too. No, we actually have another cameraman, but <laughs> she's over there. But she's um, <laughs> she's, under, she's under age, and so we <laughs> <laughs> she's like, so we don't have the child labor laws. I'm talking about Michelle. She she's like a <laughs> oh, hundred. But you're talking about ass. <laughs> no, no. Child labor laws right, are, guys. Are, are quite strict. All right, we'll see y'all in just a minute. Right here, live spins. at the island. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. I am Janetta Vendetta. We're gonna kick it off with some cool jazz for you. This is called Kill It Joe. Thank you. 
by trade. My name is Janetta Vendetta. I travel the world spreading the gospel with my musical ministry of jazz as America's greatest export. And that is my job. I am playing a pocket trumpet uh, in case anyone is wondering if they've ever seen this type of instrument before. It is quite rare. I'm going to continue with another classic tune for you. And this one is entitled, which one are we doing? How about something called Taking you down to Brazil by the fabulous Antonio Carlos Jobim. Corcovado is a beautiful neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro. This is one of his most famous songs. Jazz hostess Janetta Vendetta spreading the gospel of jazz, America's greatest export.
his guitar Playing the silence that surrounds us Classic entitled Corcovado. for you. This is a beautiful classic by one of the greatest piano players in the world, Mr. Errol Garner. This is his famous tune, Misty. Two, one, two. Thank you. 
guys i'm gonna play with a fabulous piano player named bg adair and this is a classic made famous by mr frank sinatra fly me to the moon and mr sinatra always said this was one of his greatest achievements that this particular rendition of his fly me to the moon was put on the apollo 11 spacecraft so that martians <laughs> would hear how swinging humans were okay and here we go fly me to the moon Janetta Vendetta here with the fabulous BG Adair. Ready? Life like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, baby, kiss me. In other words, baby, won't you kiss me?
Thank you, everybody. I want to thank all my fans. Thank you so very much, both of you. <laughs> I am Janetta Vendetta, promoting the fabulous gospel, and my musical ministry includes jazz, America's greatest export. Thank you for listening. Well, um, wait a minute. You didn't even get to see my bodacious body. We've got to get some. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me turn the camera over. Wait. Look, you go over there, and I'll turn the camera over. Tramps and thieves. Why do I feel like singing that too? Look, go right over there. Oh, you should do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, why do I feel like I'm channeling Cher? Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. All right. I am your hostess with the most, is Janetta Vendetta, jazz hostess extraordinaire, y'all. And here we are at the island mercantile, styling some of these beautiful. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Whoa! That was a show segue right there now. That was a show segue.